This disclaimer was copied without permission. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, just imagine not going going further in life without knowing why there is a point forty four size can. We have how, to how, know how could you even do that? We have to know Yes. This. Yes, we do. After testing another beer. Yes, of course. Of course. A point forty four beer? Point four Yeah, let's have a point forty four beer. If we can find one. Yeah, I, I know that there is one. the criterion for I, the next beer. Yeah, I know there is one. Right, uh, what we got this time? Uh, Grax the Cream Horn Gobbler from De Mor Oh, that oh, this is Dutch. I'm I'm learning Dutch at the moment. So this would be De Mors Lutel. De Mors Lutel. No, no ch sounds in this. Oh, sorry. Uh, there was one uh, after all. Uh, Mocha Hazelnut Cream Horn Stout. So there are, yeah, I, I can't count that that far. And it's 9%. Which kind of horn do you think they put into this? Um, a basset horn, a, um, a tuba, a, 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 um, a sousaphone, um, maybe? Oh, oh yeah, there's everything in a musical sense, I think, I like, like horns. Yeah, or, or maybe, yeah, yeah, could, could have been that, been that as well. Uh, I mean, a cow's horn or a, or a goat's horn. Or a, I, I don't really care. And now I'm, I'm grabbing for my um, opening tool, and it's a can because I am like that. Well, maybe you can open it. Ha, can you open can it. open it. <laughs> no, you can't. Ha 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 ha. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can, can we just cancel this scene? No, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> oh, we can't. Oh, that, reminds, can. that reminds me when I lived in the US. We cannot can. There was, there, was, there was this kind of redneckish uh, guy who made this joke that you know what we call Mexicans? We call them Mexicans! Oh. So, uh, uh. You know what we call Americans? You call, we call them Americans. And I didn't <laughs> think that was funny for some reason. <laughs> 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 didn't see, no, that, that doesn't make any sense, because we're, we're having this pun on can, well, yes, am I. Uh, mm -hmm. That's when I sort of decided, well, maybe I shouldn't debate this any further. Uh, not much uh, foam, eh? Not, not much. None at all. Definitely but, but, not. Uh, well, it's, it, it does say cream, doesn't it? Does that, that, that can sometimes uh, hamper. Yeah, well, the, the cream ales don't have much uh, foam neither, uh, or, or much CO2. Oh, well, what else is, is in there? There was this huge list of whatever it was. Uh, hazelnut uh, cream horn well, ha stout. Hazelnut, they, they are oily, and that tends to destroy the foam. I could imagine that means something here. I'm not much it, of a it, fan, by the way, of, uh, of cream stouts. I don't really understand why we even have them. Uh, maybe this will change my mind, but still, this is a cream stout, well, cream horn stout. What, what, whichever well, horn you... we're talking well, about. There's this, there's this concept of horn beer that's also the name of a Danish brewery, but... Uh... Ah, right, yeah. Uh, by the way, this smells rather nice. The, the, the hazel not smell is distinctive. It is, and pleasant, I would say. Mmm, sweetish, uh, uh, still with a bit of notes, and uh, this could be good, this could be good, but we'll see. 9% uh, alcohol, so we are compensating for the 3.6 3. the last time, that almost got us sober. I'm, I'm eating these health, uh, what are they called, uh, weight reduction bars. 
which has this hazelnut taste. And I hope this is not going to affect my judgment of this beer. Fair enough. Interesting. Chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yeah. It's more like chocolate than, than any hazel or cream. What? Not as if that's a problem. Not I mean, at all. At least not, not for me. I'm, I'm just a little surprised I don't taste any hazel nut. Well, the bitterness, the, there might be a bit. Because there's a bitterness to it as well. And I I would say I, I find some hazel nut there. Mm. Oh, this is. I, I really like this brew. I. It's definitely one of the better ones today. Oh, yeah. Some people would miss uh, some uh, carbonic acid in this, but I don't. You're right. It's, it's okay to be a little flat. It is. It is. And Mm. Oh no, I, I really like this beer. It's it's nice and cuddly and and friendly and soft and uh, fluffy. It's a little, little too creamy for my taste. It's like hmm? uh, the, the, it's, it's, it's returning to this concept of drinkable. This is something you cut out in little dices and, and chew, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't necessarily agree with Michael Jackson on every point he ever made. Sometimes you, you, it's okay you have a beer that, that isn't that drinkable, it's, it's more like but more dessert. sippable. Well, well, this is, well, yeah, I suppose this is what is. When you have a cream something stout, it's a dessert. It's, it's not a beer that you drink with something or... or it's, it's like having... Um, I don't know, uh, dessert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, but it's, it's like having this kind of ice cream with chocolate in it or mm. whatever it is. And you're, it's basically it's gross. <laughs> uh, but you eat it because it's. I don't think filled. it is. I just suddenly start craving ice cream with, 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 <laughs> with chocolate. With, with beer poured, poured over it. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, imagine this. Uh, uh, this vanilla ice cream with mm. this particular beer. Pour it over it. Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. I'd be all for it. But uh, so you, you wouldn't which, need which to... as 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 well. Let's show it to the camera. Uh, you can see there's this monster actually swallowing uh, ice cream cones here. So maybe it's not that wrong at all to say no, that this is a beer that goes with ice cream. Maybe it isn't that that much off. No. And which brewery made this? Oh, th this is from the Netherlands. Oh, this is. I think you mentioned that. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then you start speaking Dutch, I think. De Morsletel. De Morsletel. Beer engine engineers. Yeah, it has to be. It's a G, so you'll, you'll pronounce that. Right. Can't just be a clever guy who does stuff. It has oh, to be so a, so it has to be here. So it has to be cracks, cracks, cracks. How do you how do you know the two X's aren't pronounced with the guttural sound? Well, I, I don't know if they don't. If they yeah. aren't or not. <laughs> could could be that. Could be that. But I don't think so because I, I think an X in, in Dutch is just an X. Hmm. So it's cracks. Yeah, I, 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 I suppose an X part in the language is an X. So. It isn't in uh, in Basque. Oh, we've got a Basque beer as well. Oh, are we going to? Oh, goodness. We've got so much more to go through, don't we? Mm. But I really like this. Uh, bottom line. Yeah, I'm giving this a five. I'm giving this a five as well. A solid five, absolutely. Mm. Yes. And it has some, it has some sweet notes as well. It also comes across as a bit light. Light? Well, that's because it's flat because of the missing cup on the gas. I see. Well, that's not exactly what I've termed light, but. Hmm. Um... 
and then it, it's just it, it's extremely pleasant and soft to the palate and leaving a very nice often taste of coffee uh, at the back of my mouth maybe at the front of yours that's uh, the experience <laughs> from from today kind of or in my rear end I, don't know. <laughs> I prefer to uh, avoid the word rear end but you know <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I don't actually mind flat beer, I uh, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, I probably shouldn't say this loud, but sometimes when I brew my beer at home, I, I like to taste it. That's before it has carbonated. Uh, it's, it's as flat as it gets. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Usually it tastes very good. This one is fine, it's not entirely flat. Uh, I think this is. Stouts are. It's, it's fine that stouts are a little. Less carbonated. Well, they're supposed to be less carbonated than, for example, an IPA or definitely a wheat beer. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is nothing wrong with a, a, a stout that is a little well, flat, less, less bubbly than any other beer. All right. <sighs> wow. Well. What did you get me into? <laughs> yeah, it's my fault you're drinking. Yes, it is. You utter... Uh... Friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> wow, you think... Oh, you barely finished it. I... Well, as you know, there's no drop there. Wow. Oh, can we take much more? Well, we only got 15 beers to go. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't count how many I brought here, I just brought them. You brought a very, beer. very fine selection, I, I have to say. Yeah, yeah, we just decided that we're going to review whatever we get through. Whoa! Yeah, we need a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or uh, no, I'm th this is this is what I'm thinking. Uh, I really want to try the Basque one, and after that, maybe we should call it a, an evening. What do you say? We'll see after that. Oh. Okay. This, this is kind of the, 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 the tipping point. It is. Because we're, we're going for the next beer, and then if he doesn't stop, then it's going down real fast. <laughs> oh, it is. 